Why do people commit mass shootings? Well, it's a complicated question. There's a psychologist named uh, Gillian Peterson, among other psychologists, obviously, who studied the issue. And uh, what she uh, says is that there's a mixture of uh, psychological uh, motives that, that, that push them in this direction. Uh, they have a, a sense of grievance, obviously. Uh, they're frequently suicidal. Um, and uh, they want attention. They want attention after their death. Uh, they commit the mass murders fully expecting to be killed and they want attention after the death that they didn't receive during their, their lifetimes. Now, as Peterson points out, uh, often uh, there are people out there uh, who have the same sets of emotions, the same confluence of emotions, who don't go on to kick, uh, uh, commit mass shootings. In fact, she she states that 99.9% .9 of people who have these, these very sort of dark emotions, these mixed this sort of mixture of anger and grievance and need for attention uh, don't go off and commit mass shootings. And she underlines that a lot of mass shooters do not fall into the category of being uh, uh, clinically mentally ill. Nevertheless, uh, there is this subcategory which goes ahead and does it. Now, there's an even smaller category of mass shooters, and those are the ones who feel compelled to record what they're doing, who live stream their actions. And obviously this was the case with uh, what happened very recently in Louisville with the, uh, the shooting at uh, the old National Bank uh, by Connor Sturgeon. Now, there have been other cases, the most notorious of these happened in New Zealand in which uh, a racist attacked a mosque in New Zealand, killed an enormous number of people, like 40 or maybe 50 people, live streamed the event, uh, that live stream was put onto places like Facebook, uh, YouTube, etc. It was quickly taken down by authorities, but white supremacists seized upon it. And it's been circulating on the internet ever since. So it can have that sort of symbolic kind of value. Now, what I'd be interested in uh, finding out is what you think are the factors that drive this, this kind of behavior, this need for spectacle and attention.